Hey, this is Jim Alley. Welcome back to the dungeon. Uh, we had taken some time off this summer because it's been really, really hot here and really hot up in this warehouse. So, uh, welcome back to uh, another series on the dungeon. And uh, come on with me. We're going to go in this office here. Some interesting uh, uh, things happened in this office uh, back probably in uh, 1981, and I'd like to go over that with you. So, uh, come on. We'll uh, go in here and. Uh, uh, we'll continue. Uh, this was the profile office. Uh, a lot of a lot of great things went on in this office uh, during uh, the use of this building before we built our new building down the road down here. But uh, one uh, very interesting thing happened early on back in uh, oh, 1981. I had received a phone call from a gentleman, uh, Rich Hutchins, out of Maryland. And he was inquiring about possibly having private label frames made. And I had talked to him. I said, well, where did you get our name from? He says, well, I, I know you people. I know Profile Racing from the racing industry out of New Jersey. So um, he wanted to make an appointment to come down here and sit and talk with us. I mean, this was early for Profile Racing because we were just getting up to, you know, production speed on all the frames that we were doing and cranks and so forth on all the Ida handlebars and so forth. So um, he uh, made an appointment to come down uh, in approximately two weeks after we would had this phone call and him and his wife came down and we sat in this office here and uh, it was named, like I said, his name was Rich Hutchins and we talked about uh, building frames, private label frames for him and uh, uh, as we all know now, Rich Hutchins turned into Hutch BMX. So this is really where Hutch got their first frames from. Uh, what he wanted was, was just a, a typical frame. He knew nothing about geometry on frames or anything like that. So he put this all in our hands to move forward and make him a make a competitive frame for him uh, for the market that he was trying to. Uh, Get into so uh, what he wound up doing was we wound up building just basically our Champ Pro frame, less the bar. Uh, we did not include that. That is our signature bar that Profile used. Uh, we used a little different dropout on his. Um, it was a solid dropout rather than the dropout that had the hole in it, uh, as you see here. And uh, the unique thing about the Hutch frame uh, was uh, he had asked it. He wanted the logo uh, drilled so it looked like bullet holes and it spelled out the word Hutch. So we made a, uh, a little fixture uh, with Hutch uh, in it drilled and this little fixture was used to, you'd clamp two brackets together and you'd use the drill press and go down through all these holes here and drill the, uh, the second piece uh, which would wind up being the Hutch name. Uh, that looks like it was bullet holes that were shot into it. So uh, if you have a hutch frame with that bullet holes in the hutch and spelling hutch out, those frames were built here originally for Rich Hutchin. And anyway, he wound up gave us an order. Uh, we built the first order and uh, you know we had a great relationship and moved on from then. Uh, he wanted to buy our cranks. Uh, we did not want to do any special crank for him, so he wound up buying the Profile retro crank that we do. Uh, it, uh, and all he was going to do was make an oval uh, decal that had hutch that would go into the inset that was in the Profile retro crank. So, uh, a little bit of history I thought people would be interested in. Uh, this is pretty much where it all started for Hutch BMX here, uh, as far as uh, their first production of uh, frames and probably cranks. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, some great, uh, great, great history here. I'd like to go into some detail today on uh, the actual production of profile frames. This is actually one of our first production frames. We did an XL, we did a Champ Pro, and uh, later on down the road we did a Shelby James, which is a shorter uh, uh, bicycle. Uh, but anyway, we. Uh, the unique thing about the profile frame was this large down tube. We were the first company to use a large down tube like this, uh, and it was strictly for strength. And uh, we also, our bottom bracket was a narrower bottom bracket, 
than anybody else on the market, and that was done to, to try to cut down on the flex uh, when a rider's riding. So, uh, of course, we went to the loop tail section, which was pretty standard back there. Um, the uh, geometry of this frame was a little different than some of the other ones out there. We did make two different forks. We made a leading edge fork and a straight drop fork, and that was sort of a preference of the riders, what they wanted. But uh, that was, uh, you know, right off the bat, these were the uh, profile frame. We didn't make many uh, adjustments or changes in these frames for uh, the amount of time that we built these. As we discussed earlier, uh, this was the Shelby James frame, or Shelby James replica we called it. Uh, when Shelby James came to ride for us, we decided to build a special bike for him. Again, this features the large down tube, the narrow bottom bracket, uh, of course the, uh, the length from seat post to the center of the head tube was shorter than the Champ Pro, and we had a shorter tail section on this bike. Uh, Believe it or not, this was probably the largest selling bike that we sold of any manufactured bikes that we did. It outnumbered our Champ Pros and uh, our, both the Standards and the XLs. So um, this was a great bike. Shelby won a lot, a lot, of, a lot of motos on this and a lot of championships. So uh, I just want to give the credit to Shelby because he was a great rider too. So. Uh, this is a little bonus section, section we're going to go over on the Hutch frame. Uh, Hutch BMX uh, went into bankruptcy uh, late in the uh, 80s, uh, 87, maybe 86, 89, I'm not sure. But anyway, the, at the bankruptcy sale, uh, which was held, there's a gentleman that owned Louisville Cycles out of Louisville, Kentucky. And he bought all the frame kits and uh, frame tubing that was cut, tail sections that were bent, bottom brackets, head tubes, bottom, uh, uh, all the, uh, the, the top tube, the lower tube, these were all milled. And he had found out that uh, we had originally built the Hutch bikes. And uh, he called me and wanted to know if I was interested in... Uh, uh, building bikes for him again. I said, well, yeah, if the numbers are there, we'd be interested in doing that. So I flew up to Louisville, and ironically, I'm walking through the Louisville airport, and of all people I see was Muhammad Ali, and uh, I had to get an autograph from him, which I did, so that was kind of a bonus on this trip anyway. But uh, we met uh, with the gentleman that owned Louisville Cycle, uh, came upon an agreement, uh, he shipped all the tubing down here, and we built probably, uh, oh, probably 100 to 200 frames. Uh, these frames did not have the drilled out hutch bracket in the back of them. It was just the plain bracket. So, uh, like I said before, any of these frames that have the drilled hutch were bikes that were built by Profile Racing uh, back in the early 80s. So, just a uh, little bit of uh, information that's uh, in history that's uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool. So, thank you.